It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. I have a really fun mix of outfits for you guys this week. These are easy and these outfits will get you through these hot, hot summer days. Let's just jump right in. Welcome back and welcome if you're new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content, outfit ideas, styling videos, so much outfit inspo. I'm telling you guys, trust me, check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. Starting with this first look, it gets no easier than a really great slip dress for the summer months. I mean, it's so hot out and you just want something easy that just skims the body and you don't have to worry about feeling tight or uncomfortable in. I love slip dresses for that exact reason. This one I've had for a while, I also have it in black, and I definitely recommend if you find a slip dress that you love, get it in multiple colors because you'll wear them over and over again and they're so easy to style, just incredibly comfortable and they are a wardrobe must have because you will wear them for years. Absolutely beautiful. This slip dress is by the brand Vince and I love that it is this gorgeous like midnight blue, really deep blue shade. This is actually my favorite kind of blue because it just looks really like really saturated I just love the depth of it and so I decided to pair it with gold accessories I just love gold accessories you guys already know that it just looks really luxe and I paired it with my Fendi slides these are in gold a really nice metallic but they are neutral so I wear them with so many things and I decided to keep with the gold accessories and I threw on my gold Saint Laurent Lulu but of course if you don't have gold accessories or maybe you're just not as into gold as I am you can definitely do silver accessories because a silver Silver or a pewter would look really good with this blue. So good. Um, you can do black accessories, of course, that will always work, especially with this really deep, dark midnight blue. That would look really great as well. So you can play around with things. And you can add a denim jacket if you wanted to. Um, you can probably throw a blazer over your shoulders. You can play around with like uh, toppers or outfit finishers if you needed to, um, especially if you're gonna be somewhere where it's gonna be some AC. You wanna add that extra layer just to be a little bit more warm. And then uh, I threw on a pair of sunglasses and some pearl earrings. The earrings that I'm wearing are by Dior. These are my favorite. So anytime I'm wearing pearl earrings, it's usually these. I love them. And then the sunglasses that I'm wearing are Gucci. These are my oversized butterfly shades. I absolutely love them. I recently picked up another pair in green. I will link to that video if you want to see what else I picked up as far as my luxury purchases and some other things. I'll link to that video in the cards. But I just love how easy this look is. This is something you could wear, um, you know, if you're out for day of shopping, maybe you're going for lunch, brunch. This is very easy. Easy styling, you'll stay nice and cool and be very comfortable. Here's the next look, and this one is a really great casual, fun look. We're playing with some colors and color blocking. The top that I'm wearing is actually a bodysuit from Lulu's. It's ribbed, it's really comfortable, and I love anything one shoulder, off the shoulder. It just cuts across the body beautifully. I love it. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing my Curve Love jeans from Abercrombie. I love these. These are loose. They're slightly baggy. They have that distressing. And I love that cuff. And then I just threw them on with a pair of purple slides. That apple green and that really like jewel toned purple, so good. I love the combination green and purple. It looks so good. And the sandals have like beads on them. So they dance really nicely and move beautifully when you walk. Love this combination and for a bag, I just threw on my Loewe puzzle because it's a nice neutral and I didn't want to add too much color just because I wanted to keep the outfit simple and easy to style, especially if you're someone who doesn't know how to color block or is not sure with which colors pair perfectly together. Keep it simple, stick with two colors and you can. this is so easy to do. You can definitely recreate this. Moving on to the next outfit and I love this outfit. now. For me, this is something that's super, super functional, but it's also really cute. And I actually thought of this outfit because recently I was in the car dealership. And you know, if you're going in there to get your car serviced or you know, talking to an advisor, you're sitting there for a while. And it can be very cold, so that's why I thought of this outfit. But if you're like me, you get cold the second you hit the AC. So if you're going anywhere where you have to sit in AC for a little bit of a longer time, then you wanna be sure to throw a cardigan or something in your bag. And you still wanna be cute. So I thought this was the perfect outfit for travel or you know just every, every day to day errands that you have to run. But also if you're working from home, this is something that you can sit comfortably in all day. So starting with the cardigan that I'm wearing, this is by the brand M.M. Lafleur. I love this. I've shown you guys a few other pieces um, from that brand that I love as well. I'll link to that video. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me share it over there. Now on Instagram, I did do a sponsor campaign with them, but I really love the pieces so much that I continue to style them in my wardrobe. And I just love this cardigan. I love that it has a little bit of a structured shoulder, 
but it's not so structured that it's you know difficult or uncomfortable to wear it's soft the fabric is comfortable but it still maintains its shape which is just really good i just love this cardigan so much and i love that it has that belt if you want to tie it but i love to like you know let it hang loose or tie it up in the back to further accentuate you know your waistline that's really good so easy and then underneath i'm wearing a tank top from banana republic i love their ribbed like shirts and tanks. They fit really well, very comfortable. And the whites are not too sheer, but of course it's white, so it's not completely opaque. So obviously just wear a flesh tone bra underneath. And then my shorts. These are my Curve Love shorts from Abercrombie. I love these. Size up if you want them to be, you know, a little bit loose, um, really relaxed. And then on my feet, I'm wearing a pair of Sam Edelman slides that I have had for some years now. Now these are not available, so I'll link to something similar. But I could have also thrown on my Gucci platform sandals if I wanted to, now that I'm looking back. I wanted to stay, um, you know, really neutral, but of course you can throw on those platform slides if you have those, or any sandal really, just because this outfit is very neutral, you can do something flat if you wanted to. You can do a platform, you can do a sneaker, that would be really cute. And then for my bag, I just decided to throw on my Loewe puzzle because I was going for an overall neutral look. Here's the next look, and I just love this. Now, this is for the all black lovers. The vest that I'm wearing is from Zara. I love vests in general, and I just wanna keep getting more of them just because I love how polished they look, but I love to dress them really casually. A vest is just really good for that. And then underneath, because this vest is so open, I decided to just wear a very pretty bra underneath um, to act as a camisole, but if you want more coverage, you could actually wear a camisole or like a fitted um, you know, tank underneath that would look really great. On the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of trouser shorts just because I wanted to create a, a suiting effect um, as opposed to going with like a pair of jean shorts. I really love the way that these shorts paired with it. And then on my feet, I threw on a pair of my zebra slides. These are not available, but I have linked to similar uh, sandals with the same print. So make sure you guys check the description box. But I really love the way this looks together. It looks really polished, but still comfortable and casual. And I just added my brooch to the vest. I love adding brooches to my vests or my jackets. It's a really great way to add accessories and play up your look with, um, you know, without doing too much. I just love a brooch. This one is Dior that I'm wearing. And for my bag, I went with my gold Saint Laurent Lulu, and I just love the way the gold just elevated this entire look. But you can also do a black bag if you wanted to because a black bag would look really great. I could have switched out and maybe worn my crossbody Saint Laurent bag with a gold tassel. I could have done that. Um, but if you have any kind of a black bag or a neutral bag, or you can change out the sandals and if you wanted to add a different bag, like maybe with a print, maybe something still in the black family, that could work as well. So definitely you can play around with this look. This is a really nice canvas to add whatever you want to make the outfit yours. Now here's the last outfit that I have for you guys, another all black look. And this one is so easy breezy, this is so me. Very comfortable, easy, it's chic. It's just a very cool outfit. The top that I'm wearing is from Lulu's. It's a smocked strapless tube top. I love tube tops. They're just my thing. I just love them. I love anything that is strapless. I love cropped things. And I just find that it just creates a really nice silhouette. And this one is has that smocking. So it fits really good, but it stretches really nicely. It's gonna move with you, very comfortable. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of linen shorts from Banana Republic. Highly recommend these shorts. If you are a curvy girl and you struggle with anything fitting your waist, like your waist hip ratio, you know, that gap in the back, if you fit your thighs and hips, then the waist is too big. These are not gonna do that. I find that these fit really perfectly. They're tailored. They really did a good job with these. Love them. I will link to them. I really do need to pick up other colors if they're still available, but I'm really happy that I was able to grab the black. And for my shoes, I'm wearing those same zebra slides that I love. Absolutely love this entire outfit. And then for my bag, I threw on my Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche tote. It's just the perfect pairing. This is something that you could wear to the beach. Um, you can wear this as your outfit after you change from you know taking off your bathing suit if you wanted to. You could wear this around town running errands. You can wear this on your vacation. You could just wear this outfit for a lot of different occasions this summer. So I really like that. If you have any cookouts, this is a really comfortable, easy outfit to wear as well. So you can definitely do a lot with this. And if you're not comfortable with a tube top, you can definitely swap it out for a tank top or even a button up shirt. You guys know I love a button up shirt and shorts. That's a really great option. So you can tweak any of these looks 
to make them work for you. Whatever you already have in your wardrobe, chances are you can come up with something similar. But if you guys wanna recreate these outfits exactly, I will have pieces linked in the description box. Make sure you check there. I'll have size information as well. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave those in the comments, but I'll have everything you need in the description box. That's it for this week's outfits. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna check me out on some of my other socials, I will have everything, all the other platforms you can find me on listed in the description box. So be sure to check there. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.